Now, as I said, your faith is very important to you in your music. Is that right? Do you actually, at this stage, you're not as established as you'd like to be, obviously. Do you actually choose the I'm energy? I'm on my way. <laughs> it's not a criticism. I don't think, in God's eyes, I don't think any of us are established as we'd like to be. Right? We all fall short. No, it's just my mission hasn't been accomplished yet. It's, it's a little bit further, and I think uh, there is a reason for that. God wants me to, be a little, to grow a little bit older, so when it co my, comes my time, everybody has their own time. And uh, when it comes for me, then I'll be ready, basically, myself spiritually and old enough and grown enough to present it to the world. Once again, you know, uh, don't ever see that as a criticism. If I live to 100 years old, as wise as people might consider me, you know, the wisest man in the Bible, whoever, I suspect that they don't think that they're as established as they'd like to be. Perfection <laughs> is where we'd all like to be. And, you know, yeah, we'd true. never really get there. <laughs> So, uh, do you actually choose the energy that you interact with at this time? You're quite a God for you, a godly person. It's important to you, the energy that you project and where your inspiration comes from. You're with someone in the studio. Everything about them is destruction. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, the terminology, the language, the lifestyle, it's just... It is, you know what I'm talking about. You get these people. Yeah. Are there people that you'll turn off from or you work with them, you go a little bit of the journey with them or anything like that? Do you choose... <laughs> Do you choose who you work with and the, your mediums that you operate through? Um, yes, that's true. Um, as an artist, I believe that um, obviously artists and people in public uh, have an impact on the society and on the people who actually listen to the music. And um, I think it's, it is really important um, what kind of message I'm sending out to the world and that's why I'm very choosy, yes, that's true. And uh, I'm always checking with the reality and always basically asking, asking in my own way, I'm asking God whether it's right or not. I always pray before um, I do something significant, even I try to pray before I make a song. Um, so, um, and then uh, it comes to me in a spiritual way, whether it's right or whether it's wrong. I choose the people I'm working with and I'm trying to project, um, you know, positive image and positive um, message out to the world. I don't want to, you know, there's enough violence and um, all kind of negative things. And we want to always convert it into positive or find out some, you know, uh, philosophy behind it and uh, see... And see uh, what really God's, God has for us there. And um, it is important. It is definitely important. So, um, also, um, I have to say that um, I had, a, you know, some, a couple of personal meetings with God. And I just saw that he's holding my hand. And I, I felt that my way in music is because of God. It's not only... A couple of times I even felt like going astray and just giving up on what I am doing right now when uh, I met a, f um, a lot of, you know, t to be honest, I met a lot of um, producers and managers, even in Russia, who were saying, like, you have to give up, you know, talking on conscious uh, level and um, you have to just uh, go there half naked and, you know, <laughs> and um, just do all that kind of stuff to make quick money. But then I I'm thinking, oh, what what's what's the purpose of that you know a part of just making money and um, um, doing these things it's it's um, it's not that important you know at the end of the day we're, lo we're looking to be making history and um, history is in our hands um, and obviously God wants us to do it right Jana thank you very much for that comprehensive <laughs> expression <laughs> of what you're all about um, yeah, uh, as I said, myspace.com, uh, Jana Sebastian, J A H N A S E B A S T I A N, um, blogspot, uh, Jana Sebastian blogspot.com. That's my blog. I've got all my thoughts there and just everything that I find interesting, you know, videos or articles. Uh, so it's just welcome to Jana Sebastian World. And um, YouTube, you'll see all the news videos. And uh, yeah, just just uh, just Google me. <laughs> just Google lady, right? You heard that is an instruction. Foxy lady, can you call the studio, please? Somebody needs you to get in contact with them. Sonia, she's left her number here in the studio. One more thing from Jana.
Yeah, I haven't said the main thing yet. Um, this year, I'm going to release two albums. One is going to be my EP, which is going to feature uh, some of the songs that um, you've already heard. Um, it can be heard on MySpace. And some, uh, I'm working on completely new material, and I'm uh, going to drop my LP later this year, like closer to very end of 2009. And that's going to be, that's going to be the bomb. All right, listen to a bit of the bomb right about now <laughs> before we go into a bit of what you're going to hear after the break from Winnie D. The guru moving away from the studio, moving away from the microphone, and it's been long and productive. Hopefully, you'll have learned something. I'll leave your favor. Word is real. 